So, you made me do that. So I'm going to make you do something that you didn't uh, realise was going to happen. <laughs> because down through the years, there's been a great respect for you in the world of country music. So much so that the good people behind country music and award giving want to acknowledge what you've done. And that's why I want to invite Father Brian Darcy to come in and say hello, because he has something he'd like to give you. Daniel, uh, it gives me great pleasure, it's a great honour for me, on behalf of the Irish Country Music Association, yeah. to present you with the Irish Country Music Hall of Fame Award. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. I think you've got it. No, you deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> All right. My goodness. Brian, if I may, sir, welcome to the program. Lovely to see you. Thank you. And you've been synonymous with uh, the country music scene in this country for far more years. years than we need to talk about. Exactly. But uh, <laughs> Daniel clearly deserves this award. It's a given. Yeah, well, as you know, there's only one other man who's got it. Yeah. And that's Big Tom. And that's the only right. other one that's got it apart from him. <laughs> and, uh, well, I didn't listen. Yeah, it's just it's nice it, that you're surprised. There's nobody deserves it better because Daniel, there would be no country music association or no country music actually yeah. without Daniel. Yeah. He was the one who actually bridged between the show bands and the country music association. And he not only did that, he took it, the Irish country music to the international stage. Sure. People like Loretta Lynn, a great friend of Daniel's, Charlie Pride, a great friend of Daniel's, Glenn Campbell, a great friend of Daniel's. You go to Branson and you see. Big name, Daniel O'Donnell, yes. Glenn Campbell, Mel Tillis, doesn't matter who it is. He's the big name, uh, both in America and here. And he has done more for country music in his own quiet way than anyone I know.